Some folks have pet plants. Others have pet rocks. I, on the other hand, have a pet Newton's Cradle. And in today's episode, we're going to see why. So why a pet Newton's Cradle, you may ask? Well, for one thing, this guy knows how to count. If I so happen to give it one unit of momenta in, one in, one out. May seem like nothing special over here. You've probably done it before in doctor's offices. But as I said, this guy is actually pretty smart. If I so happen to give it two units of momenta, you'll see two units in, two units out. How about I upgrade the challenge? How about three units of momenta in? Three in, three out. Okay, let's try something really crazy. How about we do four units of momenta? Four in, four out. And obviously, if I still happen to give it five in, well, five in, five out. Let's try a different type of setup. Let's say I start off with one unit of momenta on the right and one unit of momenta on the left, and I release them simultaneously. Let's see what happens. Now, to the eye, it may seem as if it does nothing more than just bounce off the center and return back to where it started. But in reality, what's happening is that it's transferring momenta from the left ball to the right and from the right ball to the left. If you have a hard time seeing it, how about I change the numbers up a bit? How about I start off with one unit on the right and two units on the left? And here, you can clearly see that physics is at work. One more bonus challenge. How about we start off with three units on the right and two units on the left? Well, I hope you enjoyed today's episode. For more fun adventures like this, make sure you like, click, and subscribe to my channel. Till our next adventure together.